auction day and I'm heading to the Lockhart auction right now hopefully to watch my calves go across and get sold uh, I'll take some more video when I get there to show you what it looks like uh, on the outside in the daytime and then with any luck we'll get some video of the actual auction process if you've never seen it it's very quick and there's people with with little cards with their numbers on them indicating their interest in a particular lot and it's all called out very quickly and they're they're basing it on a price per pound and they run the uh, the cows or the calves in this case around a little pin area in the front so they can see them from all sides and it happens really quickly and then they're bidding on basically how well they think the calves look in terms of um, just overall appearance and some people like certain breeds so if it's a darker breed they know it's Angus uh, related so that may be what they're looking for versus a, a white cow like a Charolais or a Hereford or something else so uh, they bid on it based on how they think they, uh, the animals look and they're bidding on a price per pound but they don't yet know what the lot weighs until it leaves the arena and then it actually goes on a, a scale the animals go on a scale that is right outside the the uh, area where they're running around and then that scale gives a weight and that weight is uh, essentially multiplied by what they're willing to pay per pound and that's what you you or me in this case the seller would get paid for that lot so uh, it, like I said it all happens very quickly and I hope I get some video to show you that and uh, we'll just see uh, how that goes so come along for the ride all right it's a lot busier today than it was last night as you can see so we're gonna park and then we're gonna go ahead and go on in all right so here we are you can hear some of the calling in the back telling them what pins to open up to take to the auction block all right, so I'm here at the auction, the Lockhart auction with Wes Davis. He's the one that helped me yesterday uh, take my calves to uh, market. And I'm just gonna ask Wes a few questions and uh, get some, some information for you all about how the auction works. My first question for Wes is whether my calves will be run through together or separately. One at a time. One at a time. Yeah. And when the people are bidding on them, they're gonna be bidding on them based on a price per pound, but they don't know what they weigh, but they kind of have an idea, correct? Yeah, I guess it. They and guess it within 10 pounds. And then at the end, they go over a scale, and the scale and the weighs scale the animal. Weigh them, and they'll be yep. the price per pound. I then asked Wes how the people who are bidding are deciding which cattle they like. They're going to sort those cattle on uh, the sex of the, the cattle, the, the weight, the quality of the calf, and the price. And they're making that decision Insta quick. Instantaneously. <laughs> they do it every day. And it's just second nature to them. And these cattle will probably go either to somebody's home or to a feedlot. They'll either go to a, a preconditioning yard or they'll be put into a feedlot. Okay. So these people are, when they're bidding, they're just keep, keeping track of yeah. price, that much they're spending, and also how much they can take home and haul in whatever yes. vehicle they brought. Great. All right. Well, let's go ahead and go on in and All check right. it out. As we walked inside, Wes took me to meet Maddie Bexley, who is the co-owner and manager of Lockhart Auctions, and I got to ask her a few questions. About how many uh, animals do y'all run every week through uh, here? It just differs from week to week. Last week we had a little over 1,100. This week we have about 800, so. Wow, that's a lot. And they, you get mostly cows, but I understand you do also sometimes sheep and other sometimes exotic animals. What's yeah. the most exotic thing you've seen come through? We don't have any exotics, but we do have sheep and goats and and today we had five horses. But the buyers, if they're here, they don't necessarily know if they're going to have horses from week to week. So if they just come and they see a horse and they happen to be here, they luck out, right? Yeah, well, we have a Facebook page, so we try to put them on Facebook. Uh, but yeah. Excellent. Well, I've got some calves in here today, so we're going to take a little video as they go through and see how they do and see what the process is like. And I'm here, of course, with Wes. He's going to kind of walk us through the process on how that works. But I appreciate y'all letting us come and, and participate here Great. today. Thank you for the business. Yeah, absolutely. The scale ticket. Okay. And that's the price on there and who bought it. Okay. The weight. So you're doing this real time. Yes. I'm <laughs> ready to talk to some people who actually buy uh, cows, uh, buy a lot of cows actually, and just to kind of get from them some information on what they're looking for when they're seeing them go through so quickly. I'm Craig Archer. I'm buying for CNH Cattle Company. Ron Curry, buy for Thick Pen Livestock. 
fantastic. My first question is, what characteristics are they looking for when bidding on animals at the auction? Well, we got the people we buy for, they, they tell us what they want. Okay. So, you know, we look for what the weights we're looking for and the quality, you know, some want better quality, not too much grammar, some like Charlotte. Uh, bull calf versus a steer. Are you going to still bid on a, on a bull calf or if, if it's a little bit heavier, a little bit older? Yeah, but some people don't want bull calves. Right. Those bigger ones. So that takes out some people that can't bid on them. Deer calf will actually bring, what, four five dollars more per hundred than what a bull calf do. Especially if you get on up in the, in the five weight cattle to the six weight, six seven weight. weight. A little six weight on up with Brainer. Quite a bit less than steer. Now you're saying six weight. What does that mean for the lay person? 600 pounds. Okay. 600 pounds all up. Okay. If it's a bull, they'll bring less money than on a steer with. Okay. Now I did hear that if you don't castrate, sometimes they'll gain more weight quickly. Well, some say that. I mean, but we don't, we ain't studied that. A cow versus a heifer. What, do you have a preference? Well, if you're buying cows, you don't want to spend bread before you do. You get a heifer, you might have trouble with her calf. You're better off to buy a younger cow that doesn't have a calf than to buy a heifer. What about buying pears or, you know, a calf at the side versus... Well, that's good. That way you know what kind of calf you're going to be out of. You buy a bread cow, if you all have a longhorn calf, which ain't near as much money when you get rid of it. Get a longhorn calf compared to a good Sean Lankos calf, a good Angus calf, black calf. Lots of difference in the price. Say, last question. What would you say brings more money? Uh, uh, an Angus uh, uh, influence, Charolais, Herefords? Charolais and Angus, Herefords, no, no demand for them no more. Charolais, so white or black? Right. Well, yeah. White or black, or black baldies with the white yeah, spot. Correct. Charlotte, yellow Charlotte. Yeah. Okay. No, no white Charlotte. No, no, no full the, whites. The feeder, the, feeder, the feeder people don't care much for the pure white Charlotte. I really appreciated these guys sharing their insights with me, but I couldn't help but notice that there were not a lot of younger buyers at the auction. This fact was not lost on Craig. If you'll take note, I'm the youngest here, and I'm 61. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need more people in the pipeline, don't we? Well, gentlemen, I thank you much for your time. Take care. At this point, Wes and I moved into the auction arena. There is a red pinning area in front that you can see. That is where the animals are shown to the bidders. The bidders sit in an amphitheater, which you can see in this video that I shot later on in the day. There are also a couple of handlers who move the animals around so that the bidders get a chance to see all sides. And the auctioneer sits up at the top with a couple of assistants who help him keep track of all of the bids. In this video clip, you see how quickly the auction process is. Uh, the animals are directed inside the ring by a couple of handlers, and once they have been shown on all sides, they are promptly directed out the left where only then they're weighed, and the weight is registered at the top on the uh, red screen. So anybody who bid on that particular animal and won would have to quickly calculate the winning price per pound times the weight to know how much they just spent. And oh yeah, while they're doing that, they're also having to keep track of the next animal that's in front of them, because if they want to bid on that one, they have to do so in real time as well. So there's a lot of things that they juggle as the auction process goes along. You'll notice that there are a couple of additional yellow markings on these cows in addition to the stickers that were placed on them when they were brought to the auction barn. The yellow markings on their shoulder indicate their age and the yellow markings on their hip indicate how far along they are in terms of being pregnant. I asked Wes what he was looking for at this particular auction and he showed me his auction card. You'll see that he already bought a few animals in the 300, 450 to 500 and 650 weight range. Here you'll see how subtle the movements are when a bidder is interested in a particular animal. Just by moving his card up and down, Wes caught the attention of the auctioneer, and in the end, he won the bid for that particular calf. Finally, after much anticipation, they started bringing out my calves to be sold. And as you can see, my calves weighed considerably more than the ones that preceded them.
At this point, Wes's friend reiterated what I had been hearing all day, that I should have castrated my bull calves a lot earlier. So that last calf there that weighed 815 pounds was the last one of my lot. And although this next one here is dark in color as well, you'll notice that when it goes across the scale, it was a lot smaller than mine. So now that I had sold all of my calves, I walked out into the lobby and waited around for my check to print. All right, so I just finished the auction of my calves and it's been about 15 minutes and I'm over here and the check is getting ready to get processed. That's how quick this works. It's super fast. Awesome. So now it's printing out. There it is. There's the check. They were big. Yes, they some big calves. That's all the weights. Yeah. They they were big. But they fetched a great price. Yeah, Very happy. For being that big, they did. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank oh, you all, everybody. Y'all yeah. take care. Appreciate your help. Thanks. All righty. Bye bye. See you next time. Yes, ma'am. So that's how I went today at auction in Lockhart. I uh, really enjoyed uh, meeting everyone here. Everyone is uh, super awesome and the facilities are fantastic. And my calves fetched a really good price, so I'm real happy with that. Uh, so appreciate you guys watching. I hope it's been informative for you. And uh, if you like this video, check out some of my other videos below and you can of course subscribe to my channel. So until next time, thanks so much and take care. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up below. You can also check out one of my other videos here and stay up to date by subscribing to my YouTube channel right here. Until next time, I'll see you on the ranch.